guys welcome back to my channel today I decided to take on something a little bit different I wanted to do the no mirror makeup challenge so right now I'm in my new sort of makeup room so I took out all the mirrors that were in here so there's no mirrors around me whatsoever and let's see how this goes First, I'm gonna prime my face using the Professional, Professional by, I think this is Benefit. So I'm gonna use this. And see how this goes. I think this part is gonna be easy. I mean, it's just putting a primer, but you never know. And after that, I'm going to use my Stila foundation. This is the Stila Stay All Day foundation and concealer. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I really don't want much right now. So, I think that might be a little bit too much. I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. I don't really know if I'll put it too much. And to blend this out, I'm going to be using my damp beauty blender. Let's see how this goes. I seriously don't know if anything is going on. Well, should be. But is it being blended? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I knew my did up my forehead. That's pretty bad if you don't remember. I feel like this is good. It should be good. I'm just here dabbing my life away. We're gonna jump to concealer. And I'm gonna be using the concealer that comes with half of the foundation. I'm just literally gonna just take it from there with on, on my beauty blender. know if this is gonna work I think I'm gonna use my fingers yeah I'm gonna use my finger I feel like without a mirror I don't know where to look I'm just like look at outside it's such a pretty day and like la 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 just put in concealer just to make sure I'm gonna go back with the thin beauty blender and make sure that everything is well blended you know the worst part is that after this i really gotta go to the bank mm -hmm. and i wanted to go early just to get that out of the way but i wanted to get this video done so we're gonna set the on the eyes with I'm gonna use a mixture, and I got this from Jacqueline Hill. I used the um, MAC Pro Emphasize that I have here with a combination of the banana powder from the Anastasia Contour Kit. So I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. I don't know if that's too much. I have no clue. I think that side is done. Now we're gonna move on. Let's just finish up the face. Now I'm going to slightly, slightly bronze up my face. And for that, I'm gonna use, what's this one? I'm gonna be using the Morphe brush. It doesn't really have a name on a kit that came in. And I'm gonna be using the Cooler Bronzer by Benefit. Actually, just recently, oh wait, there's a mirror, there's a mirror, found a mirror. I'm just gonna cover it. And I'm gonna slightly bronze up my face. If I can find, oh my god, I think this is gonna be too much. I hope it's not. 
Because I know this bronzer can be a little bit heavy. You, so, I don't know. Feeling scared. too much so I'm just gonna blend away I don't know now I'm scared we're gonna move up to some blush and for blush I'm gonna be using the Milani big blush this is in the Berry Amore I'm gonna get the luminoso one I'm gonna put this somewhere here right now I don't know Trying to get to the apples on my cheeks, sort of. I don't know. Let's move on. Now for highlight, because I'm gonna be running some errands after this. I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlight. I mean, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal uh, True Match Lumi. I'm gonna use a mixture of the white one with the gold one and hopefully I'm putting it right. I don't know. Modify my face a little bit with this. This is the Rimmel London Stay Matte. And I'm gonna slightly put this on my T-zone because I do get very oily. So I'm just gonna put this all over my T-zone and hopefully... And actually with the same brush, I'm gonna put a little bit more and I'm gonna put it all over my face just to blend a little bit more to make sure you know everything is blended on my face all right now let's move on to the eyes now i'm scared about the eyes i want to start with the eyebrows i mean i don't really have much to do to my eyebrows because i am letting them grow right now so I can get them waxed and have some shape you know my eyebrows are always crazy I try to keep up with them but they decide to go on their own and do like a party or something so I know my eyebrows are really really crazy right now and to brush them I'm just using the NYX Micro Pro pencil brow pencil brush them through and I'm just gonna sort of fill them in I don't want to like I said my eyebrows are crazy right now they don't have a shape they don't have anything so I just want to do like I have something on my eyebrows but we should see about this part I do think this is the hard part. I don't know if I'm even putting anything on. Wait, no, that's too low. No, too low, too low. I have one of them that is like a little bit shorter than the other one. Because when I started doing my eyebrows, I grabbed it was one of those mechanical things that to do your eyebrows. So I went and I cut half my eyebrow. That's my story with my eyebrows. Okay, I don't know how these eyebrows are looking. They're already a mess to begin with. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna slightly clean under it. So, I'm gonna just brush through them. 
try to blend whatever the heck I just did. Let's move on to the rest of the eyes. I'm going to be using the MAC Paint Pot in Barely Study. Or Bare Study, I think it is. Just, is that the, the other one that's very popular? But this one has a little bit of shimmer to it. So, now to set the eyes, I'm going to be using... i be using... Peaches and cream, something like that. I don't know. I always get those names wrong. I just want to sort of set my eyes so that way we can have a smooth canvas to work with. And for the eyes, I'm gonna be using Cramble and a more. I'm going to be using an E35 to blend this to my crease. And I'm actually going to keep my eye open because I have hooded eyes. So I feel like if I keep my eyes open, I can actually see where my fold is. So I can work with that because sometimes I put my eyeshadows and you can really see what I'm... I have on unless I close my eyes so I'm just making sure this is all well blended I feel like I'm going too high with this now that I feel that I have something going on <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Morphe brushes with Jaclyn Hills palette actually I'm gonna go with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna concentrate it on the outer part of my eye. The lid, I'm gonna be using this color right here for my lid. Packing it onto the brush. with that E35, Sigma E35 brush with just a tad bit of the first color we went in with just to make sure everything's well blended and hopefully it is after that we're gonna go with some okay. Let's see if I can do some eyeliner. I think this part is the scariest of all. So let's see. I feel like I should close my eyes. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I I feel like everything was fine until I decided to do some eyeliner. I feel like I got that all over my eye and all over my lower lash line. I feel stuff all over my eyelashes. I feel stuff everywhere. Let's put some mascara on the top lashes and this is the cover girl um, Lash Blast Volume. This is actually my favorite mascara from the drugstore. It's really, I, I really like it for me. Yeah, to finish up the eyes, and this is the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of Coco Bear with Cranbole. Run this on my bottom lash line. 
without poking my eye, which I think is really difficult for me. I don't really know if that went on my lash line. I'm scared, like I'm gonna poke my eye. Okay, perfect. I wanna put a little bit of highlight on my inner corner. And to do this, I'm gonna use the Morphe B16. I'm gonna go back into those two shades that we used earlier today. And I'm gonna put it on my inner corner. I really like this brush to do this because it's so tiny. So you can really get in there. <laughs> Hi guys. So I wanted to come here real quick and finish up my video since the while I was editing I realized that the ending part of the video where I finish off the makeup with the lipstick and my reaction when I actually see myself in the mirror it didn't record so I don't have and, and I haven't really taken on my makeup I haven't changed my clothes because I'm gonna start cleaning the house so that's what happened so I am really really sorry about that I'm just gonna have to put a picture at the end of the video so that way you guys can see my mess. <laughs> um, the makeup came out okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a happy 2016 and hope all your dreams and everything that you work hard for comes true this year. And I'll see you guys in about two days. <laughs> Bye.